Okay, I've just put in this rectangle down here. Remember, I'm going to make like a little block of wood there so that my uh, roller wheel, or no, my caster wheel sits a little further down. So in order to do that, I've made that little rectangle. And now using any method you want, you got to center this. Um, so one, one method here, let me get to that sketch. Uh, so I'm editing this sketch now. One method would be, oh, let's see, I could, you know, I could draw in a line from here to here that's vertical and a line from, oops, get rid of that line. I don't want that. And get a line from here to here that's vertical. And then I could like make them construction lines. You could leave them because you're not really using them, but I like to make construction lines. Those are lines that don't do anything except just hang out there. The reason I grab those, I, I have those two selected right now. Uh, if I just make them equal to each other, boom. Now that, that's centered there. Uh, the other way I could have centered that, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to delete everything here from that. Actually, I'll click the X and I'll get rid of the sketch. So that was one method. The other method I just realized is when I sketched on this plane, I could have grabbed the center point rectangle. That means you start your rectangle from the center. And so when I hover over this guy, um, now if I come over here, I'm making a rectangle from that center point. So it will be centered. And now I just have to say, oh, I want that to be, you know, 1.5 by 2, whatever size I want. And then I can just move it where I need it or dimension it to where I need it. I'll just leave it there for now and say, let's extrude that. Now, I know I said it needs to be 0.376. Um, However, you know, that's... How big it needs to be. However, I don't just have wood that's 0.376 in height. So I'm going to laser cut this rectangle. So it needs to be either 0.25 or 0.125. So let's do uh, 0.25. I have quarter inch material. Say okay. Uh, oh, let me double check that extrude. How did I make that? Is it? Yeah, I added it to that. I need to make it new. It's a new part. And so okay. And that part is a block. It's just a block of wood. I'm going to call it block 0.25 because it's that's how thick it is. And then I need another one. So I'm going to sketch on this plane. Um, and, oh, this is cool. We get to use the use feature again. Use. I want that, 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 and that. And just grab that edge there, and I'm going to extrude it. Uh, hit my extrude, this guy, and I'll do 0.125. So that's a total of, um, and I'm not going to add, I'm going to make a new. Uh, that's a total of 0.25 plus 0 0.125 is 0 0.375. That's really close to the 0.3. I think it was 0.376 that I even needed. So it's basically just perfect. So now I've got that on there. Now you can make these different sizes. You'll make it look however you like, so long as, now let's go over to our assembly here. Ooh, let me rename that as block. An eighth of an inch is 0.125. Now over here in your, in your assembly, I'm going to get rid of that caster or that, uh, yeah, caster wheel. And let's insert from our RC car, there's the block. Let's put in the quarter inch block first, just for funsies. Oh, it doesn't know where to put it. So all that work we did centering it doesn't even really matter over here in our assembly. So I'll place that and then I'll stick that up to the car and then I'll grab the other one stick that up there and then I'll put the caster wheel on top of that. I'll do that in the next video.